Good morning and welcome to NAS Patuxent River's Change of Command. On April 1st, 1943, Rear Admiral John S. McCain said during the basis commissioning ceremony, our service has commissioned many naval air stations, but never one with a far-reaching importance as naval air station Patuxent River. Traditions and customs have been associated with the military since the Middle Ages. Naval traditions, customs, and ceremonies give immeasurable value to the individual achievements and honor the patriotic service of those who have made a career of defending our nation. The change of command ceremony you will witness today is a time-honored naval tradition. Custom dictates that this ceremony be formal and impressive. It is designed to strengthen the respect for authority, which is vital to any military organization. Captain, United States Navy, arriving. <laughs> Naval Air Station Patuxent River, arriving. Naval District Washington, arriving. <laughs> Navy Installations Command, arriving. Gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the host of today's ceremony, Captain John Brabazon, Commanding Officer, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. And please, how about a round of applause for our, our amazing U.S. Navy Band? Thank you for making the trip to the state. As you all know, if you're coming to Southern Maryland, you got to commit to that trip. So, so thank you so much uh, for, for driving in. I'd like to recognize our flag officers and senior executive service in attendance, both active and retired. Uh, Admiral Chevy, commander of NAVAIR, wife Maggie, thank you. Our next door neighbor, we've got some wetlands in between us, but, but uh, down the street at the historic Mattapanai House, we're honored to serve on your team. Admiral Lance Scott, wife Elizabeth, thank you so much. Drove up from Norfolk this morning. Talk about a commitment. Thank you and, and aloha. It means a lot. Retired Admiral Burke Johnson is awesome wife Beverly are watching today. Uh, I had the opportunity to serve with Beverly on the county's YMCA Exploratory Committee. As we look to bring 
the first YMCA to the three counties of Southern Maryland. So, so thank you uh, virtually and welcome. Uh, Mr. Gary Kessler, uh, President of the Southern Maryland Navy Alliance, good luck finding a Navy installation with more support than Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Admiral LaCour, Admiral Lindsay, uh, thank you for escaping the vortex of Washington, D.C. to join us today. Know that on your next visit, I'm sure DK will get you airborne with our search and rescue unit, the Sardogs. And thank you for affording me the honor of serving as the 42nd CEO of the world's finest Naval Air Station. Senator Bailey, Delegate Crosby, thank you for joining us today. And welcome to all the dedicated professionals of Naval District Washington and fellow region commanding officers. The formers are here. So former base commanding officers, uh, retired Captains Petrell, Shevchuk, Fleming, Glenn and Barbara Ives, Captain Cox, who, who led us into the pandemic. Uh, thank you all for your wise counsel. <laughs> and and most, uh, most importantly, uh, thank you for your friendship. Uh, Lisa and I look forward to joining the ranks of the formers today. Most of our naval aviation fleet surrounding us is represented by the advanced capabilities of the aircraft uh, that, are, that are with us today. I like to share as often as I can that it all starts here at Patuxent River. And the petting zoo will be open after the ceremony and air crew will be standing by to describe each platform's mission, so please take the time to visit with each of them. More importantly, please visit with our outstanding sailors in uniform today. They'd love to tell you the story about why they serve in the world's greatest Navy. To other community leaders, many of whom are members of the Navy League, the Patuxent Partnership, thank you, Jen, Southern Maryland Navy Alliance, the Maryland Military Installation Council, the Patuxent River Naval Air Museum, St. Mary's Museum Division, the Calvert Maritime Museum, welcome and thank you for tre tremendous support for our sailors and our families in the region. Thank you to the other active and retired commanding officers, squadron leadership teams, PMA leadership, Navy family and friends, PAX pros, past and present, and most importantly to the sailors wearing white today, Team PAX, welcome. Family, the fun bunch over here, thank you for being here. From Oklahoma City, Chicago, Harrisburg State College, Cleveland, and from every corner of the Old Line State. A very special day. Our scouting family is here. The Stags are here. And before we get rolling, I'd like to, a hearty thank you to everyone who worked to make this happen. The Captain Selk and the pioneers of VX1, thank you for hosting us today. Misty Green running the show as change of command coordinator. KP, appreciate the Michael Buffer uh, voice. Uh, Yeoman Chief uh, Nelson uh, and the terrific Navy Band, uh, thank you for honoring us with your talents and gifts. It's my honor to introduce our guest speaker today. Admiral Yancey Lindsay is an accomplished naval aviator flying both the venerable C-130 Hercules and the E-2 Hawkeye, parked right behind you. Commanded at every level, our Navy Shore Enterprise visionary and leader for the past 13 plus years, no stranger to Naval District Washington, he served as the 89th Commandant. As the commander of Navy installations worldwide, he's had a hell of a year with consequential topics to work like Red Hill and Hawaii. The officer doing much of the heavy lifting for our Navy, his visit to Pax River earlier this year made a significant impact on our team. It allowed us to flip over the hourglass, uh, question our assumptions, reevaluate our priorities, and really help us jumpstart our Get Real, Get Better campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome an extraordinary leader, Commander, Navy Installations Command, Admiral Yancey Lindsay. I'm teasing, man. I don't usually get cheers. I might get a clap or two, but that's uh, pretty... Now, should I give my remarks in the tone at which our MC is talking? That's a pretty impressive voice, man. Well done. In fact, the, the naval, uh, the, uh, the band in Washington, the voice for them for many years just retired, so and they may have an opening. I don't know. Maybe uh, talk to these guys over here. Well, it's great to be with you today. And uh, yeah, not one Hawkeye by two, but two. So, Brabs, I don't know if you're trying to suck up or something. I don't know what's going on there, but man, that seems like a lifetime ago I was able to get in those machines and slip the surly bonds. 
if you can do that in a turboprop. I don't know if you can slip surly bombs in a turboprop, but it's great to be here with you this morning. And chaps, thanks for the breeze. That is a lifesaver today. And I will tell you, um, the most compliments I ever received on remarks that I gave in a situation like this, I was assuming command of Naval District Washington. I was following my predecessor, who was the outgoing. We were in Lutzi Park on the Navy Yard in August. The sun was beating down, no cover over us or the crowd. Um, he had just talked for almost 30 minutes. We were melting. I got up as the relieving officer, and I talked for two. Maybe. My wife said by the time she zeroed in on what I was saying, I was done. And I got more compliments on those remarks than I've ever gotten on remarks. And it wasn't because of what I said, it was because of the length. So I'm sensitive to that, so I will try to uh, move us right along. So Captain Brabazon Brabs, thanks for the warm and kind introduction. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NAS Pax River. Uh, Brabs has, uh, has done a lot of the introductions, so... I won't, uh, I won't repeat those. Uh, I learned a lesson from Admiral LaCour just last week when she assumed uh, command of Naval District Washington. She said, protocols acknowledged, and that covers everybody that's already been said or needs to be referred to. So is that okay? I know we have some elected leaders over here. Is that okay with you guys? All right, thank you. You're kind of a big deal, by the way. I don't know if you know that. You are. So appreciate that. Um, NAS Pax River is home to AC1 uh, Damon Haney, who was a finalist for the CNIC uh, uh, Sailor of the Year. Uh, AC1, you out there? Where you at? All right. Well done. Congratulations. He was not selected as the CNIC Sailor of the Year, but the, he was one of the four finalists, and I told all four of them, and I... 99.9% .9 this is true. They're going to be wearing khakis before long. So congratulations. I know you're the, the Naval District Washington Sailor here, so well done. Well, it's great to see community leaders, friends, and teammates here today. And uh, uh, active duty uh, flag officers and their spouses, great to see you all. Stacy, my wife, would have loved to have been here. But as is true with Navy spouses and Navy families, she has uh, one too many plates spinning right now. We have a graduation to get to Arizona to later this year and a 30th anniversary right around the corner we're going to try to knock out in about a week's worth of leave. So she's still kind of preparing for those events, but she sends her best in her regards and wishes the Brabazon and Kingsley family uh, all uh, well. All right, I was going to go through the Brabazon and Kingsley family, but I don't think I'm going to do that because uh, Brabs kind of covered all that. Is that okay? Okay. Hey, hey pay attention up here. <laughs> We're still in command for a few more minutes. I think I at least deserve that. I'm teasing you. You know I'm teasing you. Well, it's always a great opportunity to have the honor uh, to, to speak to uh, installation uh, folks, and, and especially the community that supports them. And I have a few comments I want to make on Brabs and this NAS Pax River team. Now, an installation change command ceremonies are normally the sole purview of the region commander as it should be, but every now and then I get the treat of attending or participating in one. So Admiral LaCour and Brabs, thanks again for the opportunity to, uh, to brag on what we call the teeth of the organization, and that is truly the installations. Our installations are where the rubber truly meets the road, where we touch the customer, and where the magic happens. Now if you think we're touching customers, where there's much ma magic happening at Navy Installations Command Headquarters, and I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona that I'll, I think you may be interested in because here's where it happens. This is where we do our job. In the brief time I'm with you this morning, I'd like to provide just a glimpse of what the installation has accomplished, some of their achievements over the last, well, it's been 20, I got it in here, 21 months, I think, I added up, something like that. That's pretty impressive. Usually at a fleet-up installation, you only get 18, so I don't know how you got those extra three bonus months in command, but you must be doing something right. Now, as we know, Brabs assumed command in the midst of the pandemic, and regardless of what he said about Captain Cox, Captain Cox did not bring the iPad pandemic. He, he, he endured it and excelled in it, so I just wanted to clarify that. Um, but he assumed command in the midst of it in September 2020, and since then he has focused diligently on, diligently on building the team, defending our assets, and taking care of sailors. 
course, the pandemic has loomed large in all of our lives for the past couple of years in very challenging and for some of us devastating ways. It has stressed all Navy leaders to manage the ups and downs while continuing to meet mission. Perhaps well done to overcome the myriad of challenges you had to overcome to execute mission while keeping your team safe was no easy task. Really nice job. This amazing Pax River team under Brad's leadership also increased their intergovernmental support agreement with St. Mary's County by $2 million annually to execute critical road repairs. They leveraged the Defense Community Infrastructure Program to reconstruct the intersection adjacent to Gate 2, and they collaborated with willing landowners and the NAFAC environmental team to, to eventually to lead to the preservation of 50,000 acres of open and wetlands via the Readiness and Environmental Protection Integration Program. In addition, they made significant force protection improvements that achieved an outstanding score on a key security assessment and greatly reduced security risk while minimizing impact on installation tenant commands and personnel. And all of you that sit, all of you that sit in lines at the gate, trust me, it's better now than it was before. You be the judge. At least that's what they told me, so you be judge. <laughs> that's what I'm saying about it. Is it true, Brabs, or not? Admiral Chevy, okay, we'll, we'll defer to Admiral Chevy. Oh, we got a thumbs up. Thanks, Chevs. Good to see you, Maggie. And, uh, and Lance and Elizabeth, good to see you guys, too. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Under Brad's leadership, the installation team has made progress and improved quality of life and service in nearly every aspect of installation operations, from air, airfield reconstruction planning to increased military working dock kennel capacity to improved firehouses to repaired seawalls to robust personnel recognition programs and improved single sailor living conditions. They answered all bells and made a difference. Way to go, Patch River. Now as Brabs moves on to future challenges in the Commander's Action Group at CNIC Headquarters, yes, I'm bringing him to work for me, DK fleets up to lead this award-winning installation team. And I don't use that characterization lightly. This team is truly award-winning. Captain Kingsley, we've heard, all, we've heard it all before, but I'll say it again. Take care of your people, and they'll take care of the mission. You're the right leader to take this team to the next level. Congratulations, and let's go. Thanks again, Brabs and the Brabazon family, for your leadership and for your service to our nation and to our Navy. You have truly made a difference. Brabs, please join me up here forward on the lectern or at the lectern so that we may formally recognize you. Thank you. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit Gold Star in lieu of second award to Captain Brabazon for exceptional meritorious conduct into the performance of outstanding service as Commanding Officer, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River from September 2020 to June 2022. Through robust community partnerships and extraordinary vision, he led efforts to mitigate encroachment, enhance safety, and ensured physical security for the installation's three fence lines and over 25,000 personnel. The overarching success of his team's readiness and environmental protection integration program resulted in an Earth Day visit from the Deputy Secretary of Defense. He set the conditions for the most successful explosive safety inspection in installation history and became the first installation to pass the Navy Utilities Audit with zero discrepancies. His actions fostered a climate of excellence and empowered mission partners, resulting in the selection for the 2021 Naval District Washington Installation Excellence Award. Captain Brabazon's superb professionalism, outstanding perseverance, and dedication to duty reflected great credit on him and were in keeping of the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. For the President, Y.B. Lindsay, Commander, Naval Installations Command. And maintaining lasting partnerships with the Southern Maryland community during his tenure as Commanding Officer. Attending today to present his proclamation to Captain Brabazon is Maryland State Senator Jack Bailey. And we can show exactly what we do and exactly who we are and the relationship that we developed with the captains here and the base has been remarkable, and I appreciate it. The captain has helped us. We bring senators 
and elected officials from around the state here so that they learn just how important Pax River is. I have a sincere honor in representing each and every one of you in what you do, and I'm thankful. And today, I'd like to read a resolution from the entire Senate. Be it hereby known to all that the Senate of Maryland offers its sincerest congratulations to Captain John Brabzone, United States Navy, in recognition of your visionary leadership and dedicated service to the Southern Maryland community as the commanding officer of Naval Air Station Patuxent River from September 2020 to June 2022. The entire membership extends its best wishes on this memorial occasion and directs this resolution be presented on this 14th day of June 2022. Also attending today to present his proclamation to Captain Brabazon is Delegate Brian Crosby. Thank you so much, and I want to echo Senator Bailey's kind words. Uh, first, let me welcome Captain Kingsley and his entire family. Uh, I look forward to working with you. I also want to thank uh, Captain Brabazon, not just for his leadership, but really his friendship uh, over the past two years. Uh, it's really meant a lot to me. Uh, with that, I have a citation from the House. Uh, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Captain Brabazon in recognition of his dedicated service to the personnel of Naval Air Station Patuxent River and the community of Southern Maryland at NAS Patuxent River Commanding, as NAS Patuxent River Commanding Officer presented today, uh, signed by the House delegation. Thank you so much. The Naval Air Station Patuxent River First Class Petty Officers Association will now present Captain Brabazon with a gift. All hands, please rise for a presentation of award to MA2 Gentry. So one of my last official duties is my honor to recognize a second-class petty officer who operates above her pay grade, makes a daily impact, represents all the difference makers on Team PAX. Master at Arms Petty Officer, second-class Gentry, please join us front and center. Attention to award. The Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy Achievement Medal Gold Star in lieu of second award to Master at Arms Second Class Kayla A. Gentry for professional achievement while serving as a Security Department Kennel Supervisor on board Naval Air Station Patuxent River from January 2021 to May 2022. Petty Officer Gentry established Naval Air Station Patuxent River's first operational kennel in five years and dedicated 60 off-duty hours to assist its final completion. More than 100 hours were used to create the Kennel Explosive Safety Program, resulting in her primary explosive custodian designation, normally reserved for a chief petty officer. Petty Officer Gentry's exceptional professionalism, unrelenting perseverance, and loyal devotion to duty reflected credit upon herself and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, J.J. Brabazon, Commanding Officer, U.S. Navy. So many of you have been serving here so long, to receive recognition personally uh, really humbled, but I really felt honored uh, to serve with sailors like Petty Officer Gentry every single day in command. Uh, well done, MA2. Uh, for Team PAX, we've served as a team, we've adapted, we've grown stronger together. The most capable force, formidable team on the planet, the Navy Marine Corps team. That team exists in the hangar. We've got the United States Army present as well, uh, but the United States military, everyone in this hangar is on that team, and thank you. You work here, we work here, we rise before dawn, we fight traffic on three notch, sometimes at the gate, uh, and often work after the sun sets. 
You provide the installation security, daily force protection, provide safe airspace for NAVAIR's consequential test missions, work with our advocacy teams, implement the memorandums of agreement, and allow for the unmatched partnerships we enjoy. We tackle infrastructure challenges and environmental compliance with enthusiasm, and run the Navy's largest child care program supporting this unique workforce. Like the threads binding our national flag, you are often the unseen part of what hold our, holds our team together. So I say to members of Team PACS, hold your heads high, walk these sidewalks and these hangar bays, know that what we do together keeps our homeland free and safe. Know that the naval aviator is overseas in harm's way, defending our values, Dean Pack's river, and you, indispensable. A dedicated group of proud and determined Americans serve in Southern Maryland. From all four corners of the country, from all branches of our armed service, we are all patriots, we are all family. Nothing of consequence is ever accomplished alone. And I don't think I've done anything special necessarily for the past three years, just did my duty. But it was my teammates that are special. They've been by my side, and I've been surrounded by special. I've trusted those around me. We're a glasses half full kind of team, a team that asks what resources are at our disposal that maybe we're not fully maximizing yet. Now for the thank yous. Captain Kingsley, XO, your family, CMC, Senior Civilian Helen. DK, I know you'll take this team to the next level. Congratulations to you and the Kingsleys. Here is the CO's pen, passed down to me from Chris Cox. I think that pen's going to get a workout. <laughs> to Izzy and Harry, Allison, thank you for sharing DK with us and welcome to the Burfield family. Doug and Katie, welcome to the hospitality of Southern Maryland and St. Mary's County. What often goes through my mind is the opening line of the Boy Scout Oath. On my honor, I'll do my best. As most of you know, the burden of command is on some days heavy. Most days it's joyous. But our daily tasks in support of Nev Air and the 53 mission partners requires our daily best. We don't always get it right. And any missteps have been mine and mine alone. I'd like to recognize the team that I've had the honor of serving with for the past three years. And if you'd bear with me, those in the front row know how much Claire Bear enjoys cheering and clapping wildly. I'd appreciate if you'd assist me with a hearty round of applause for several of our team of teams. Would our N1 and administrative department please rise for a moment? Round of applause, please. The glue that binds our team together, taking customer service to the next level. This team was recognized as our team of the year. Thank you, Misty, and all those that you serve. Well, Marcus Dismukes, N3 operations team, which includes emergency management, fire department, security department, training department, safety department, please rise. Again, you support the 53 mission partners and allow for the critical national security work that goes on inside this fence line. Run interrupted. Honored to serve with a team that runs towards the smoke, that runs towards the gunfire. Will John Higdon's Public Works Department please stand to be recognized? <laughs> team of prior professionals, about 200 active construction projects in motion at any one time inside our three fence lines. Lisa Owens 10 year runway, taxiway, apron reconstruction plan, always in motion. And Lance McDaniels, award-winning environmental compliance team. This team really knows what it takes to make progress in a bureaucracy. Thank you. Now, the following uh, teammates really keep us connected. 
Uh, could our N6 Information Technology team, Pam and Eric, Chaps, if you please rise, Legal, Quinn and Alan Wan, Public Affairs, Pat Gordon, and we've got four ombudsmen in attendance today. Please rise. Our gratitude to this team that's, that's helped keep us connected, especially during the pandemic. They helped keep us in the middle of the field. So thank you for your teamwork and collaboration. Mr. Quality of Life, Jeff Sias, Fleet and Family Readiness Director, would your entire team please stand? From child care, support to our 744 residential homes, 288 sailor barracks, the fitness center, the marina, the Cedar Point Golf Course, Solomon's Recreation Center, and the best morale, welfare, and recreation, and Fleet and Family Support Center teams in the Navy. Thank you for keeping us healthy, especially for looking out for our mental health. So important. Honor that these teammates are also in attendance today, the pros from the Naval Health Clinic. Please rise. Captain Thomas, Patrick Lear, Dr. Aaron, out here with Dr. Patty Bray, public health emergency official. We could not have done it without you. Thank you for taking care of us, Patty. <clears throat> we owe you a debt of gratitude not soon repaid. And lastly, to me, most importantly, would all veterans no longer serving on active duty, please rise. For our active duty teammates in, in our presence today, please know well, this is your legacy. The formidable force gathered here today, if it weren't for you guys, none of us would be here. Thank you. Please understand that if it weren't for you. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on those that were taken by the pandemic. Our teammate Robert Sambrook, our coach Pop, Alan Pastrana. We Remember you. Not a day goes by when some piece of that loss is not on my mind. The impact of their loss is magnified by the lives they touched. Love for those at home and love for those to our left and right, in the words of Emerson, I can say their existence made the world rich. And to our teammates who perform so many acts of courage day in and day out, that have gone unnoticed and unrecognized, for it is the courage in the small acts that we will have the courage to respond on our worst day. I say I remember I'm grateful so many members of Team PAX, PAX pros, past and present, are here today. I'd like to acknowledge a few people, starting with a mother and father. They are gone now, but their best friends are in attendance. Thank you, Carol and Bruce Detman, for attending and showing us the richness of Navy life. My parents had the foresight to introduce me to the Boy Scouts, and the values I learned there would become the foundation of my life. They did a great job raising their five children, even though I was clearly their favorite. <laughs> uh, to Yaya, Diane Pastrana, my wife's mother and my sounding board, my friend. Thank you, especially for helping feed my children. <laughs> my sisters are here. Chris, Danielle, Tekla, and Alicia's watching from Boulder, Colorado. They've all dedicated their lives to the service of others. And they too shared the task of raising me. So if you don't like how I turned out, please feel free to blame them. <laughs> they all have a well-earned reputation as gardeners and bakers. So many rich parallels to those endeavors in helping others grow. My children, JJ, Luke, Mac, and Claire, I am so grateful. I love you too. The so many months and days away can never dampen a love a father has for his children. Memories we made at the PAX party house, right Claire? Yes. Onward to our next adventure. To my lady Lisa, you've held my hand and walked with me for the past 
19 years. You are my fun stuff, and you continue to walk with me into the sunshine. You've been my rock, my foundation, the entire time we've served together in the Navy, and like many other Navy spouses, truly heroes among us, she deserves all the credit for raising our four amazing children. Today, another reminder, every day is Military Spouse Appreciation Day. I love you. As I depart the team, please know that this is not goodbye, but until we meet again, and may the, may the road rise to meet you, and may the wind be always at your back. Please stay prepared, stay ready, and continue to have each other's back. We really get to choose our crucible moments, their timing, or their circumstances. They happen, and we are measured by their response. Best we can do is prepare for them knowing they will arrive. I'm grateful for the honor to serve our nation. Our Navy serves as a strong second family in my life, and I couldn't imagine living without. Navy sailors are performing amazing deeds all over the globe in harm's way, both day and night. Deeds that we will never fully know. Finally, thank you to the Kingsley family. Thank you to the Brabazon family. Thank you to our Navy family for today's opportunity to gather us from far and wide. And thank you for the honor that has been bestowed today. Thank you all. Captain Kingsley, I am ready to be relieved. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. Attention! I will now read my orders. Buper's Order 9, 1996, TAC 2003, when directed by reporting senior, detach. June 2022, from duty as commanding officer, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. Report no later than July 22 to Commander, Navy Installations Command. I will now read my orders. Buper's orders number one nine or nine or six. When directed by reporting senior, report to commanding officer, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, as his relief. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Derek Kingsley, Commanding Officer, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River. All right, thank you so much. I'm deeply humbled and very honored to have this opportunity. Knowing my remarks are holding everyone up from cake, I'm going to keep this as brief as possible. Vice Admiral Lindsay, thank you again for being here and for your thoughtful remarks. Admiral LaCour, welcome again to the team, and we do look forward to get you up in the air. And we'll showcase all the amazing things that the team uh, does here day in and day out. Perhaps, thank you for everything. Throughout the global pandemic, you kept the lights on and the ball rolling. I appreciate your guidance and measured approach. You set the stage for this team's success. I wish you, Lisa, and the family best wishes on your next assignment. Senator Bailey, Delegate Crosby, Commissioners, if you're out there, Vice Admiral Chevy, family, Distinguished guests, friends, and family, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate your continued support as we look forward to working more closely together and hopefully finding our way back to normalcy. Teams and Zoom have been okay, but I think you'll agree it's time to get back in touch with each other and find more live and in-person events. 
build on those partnerships and the great bonds we already have established. For my family and friends in attendance, back home watching online, thank you for your support and love. There's so many hard to capture, but I'm gonna give it a try. First and foremost, to my mom and dad up above, thanks for everything. I miss you every day, but carry you in my heart always. I wanna thank all my kids, Bree, Freddie, Seth and Shannon, and the grandkids. Love you guys and wish you were here. Cue the flowers, please. <laughs> Isabel, congrats on graduating high school. I'm so proud of you. Where did the time go? So that was Saturday, though, so let's get the job going. Harrison, welcome to the ninth grade. Proud of the young man you've become and look forward to spending more quality time together this summer. I'd like to give a special shout out to my favorite sister, Darla, who planned to be here, but life happened. She's watching from Illinois at home. Hey sis, thanks for your love and support. Favorite niece, don't tell the others. <laughs> Michaela, who uh, came from Illinois. You rock, and I always enjoy our conversations and coffee time together, thanks for coming. Allison, thank you for being my sounding board and confidant. You make me a better person, I'm lucky to have you in my life. Thank you for writing back, I love you. Vinny, I saw you out there, Steve, Little buddy, Opie, my HS5 skippers during my formative years, thank you so much for your example and persistence with a young Nugget Lieutenant. Paul Lyons, if you're out there, thanks again. Jeff Barker, thanks for coming, I saw you. Braylon Cathy and the OpNav 512 crew from the Pentagon, thanks for your leadership and helping me navigate the Pentagon and all the wonderful things inside. I look forward uh, to taking a trip on the sailboat with Captain Lyons when he gets out here. Larry, thanks for coming. Appreciate and good to see you again. Rumi Chad, it just seems like yesterday we were plebes chopping at Bancroft Hall. I could go into some other stories, but I'll keep this PG here. But uh, thanks for coming. Only Becky and I know the true uh, meaning of living with you as a roommate, so congrats. Larry and Amy, I love you guys. Thank you for your infectious optimism and laughs. So glad you could come and make the trip. And my leadership Southern Maryland classmates, I saw a few of you out here. Yes, best class ever. Thank you for making the trip over. It truly means a lot. Doug, Katie, and family, welcome officially to the team. I plan to solve all the EXO's dashboard items before this, but you know, we'll, that's all we'll say about that. <laughs> to the rest of the triad, CMC, you're a dynamo. Pax River won the lottery gaining you. Thanks for everything to date. Ms. Helen Emery, our installation program integrator. You're simply underpaid for your contributions to this team. Very impressive, thank you. Team admin, thank you for keeping us all in check and uh, for arranging the ceremony. It all came together at last. So hopefully you're, uh, you're breathing. Okay, all good. Last and certainly not least, the sailors and civil, surveillance, civil servants of Team PAX. I'm so proud of the progress that we've made thus far. Everything the skipper said, spot on. I mean, we can't do this without you guys. All the accomplishments that we've made and all I look forward to those that are ahead. For forest protection improvements and removing those abandoned vehicles to vegetable gardens and potlucks and team building, I'm confident that this is the right team, the right place, the right time for the job at hand. Our job remains to enable mission partner success by providing the finest base operating support and customer service. So let's keep finding ways to get real and get better. Take ownership and work to sustain Naval Aviation's combat edge over our adversaries. Thank you all, hooyah, and let's get to it. Thanks. Will the guests please rise for the benediction. Gracious Lord, as we go forth from this place, we ask that your continued presence go with us as well. Graciously watch over the Brabazon family as they transition into new and exciting roles. Watch over the Kingsley family as they continue their journey here with us. We thank you for your spirit of peace and pray that you will impart these men the strength to accomplish it, your purpose with honor and integrity. CO and XO, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you 
and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the matchless name of our God, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Captain Bravison, Captain Kingsley and their families, thank you for taking part in this time-honored Naval Training.